Patients inside a Kirkland Care facility are telling Cairo 7 they are desperate to get out. And good evening, I'm Monique McLaughlin. I'm Steve Rabel. Here are the latest numbers from Washington State. Health officials in King County are reporting 11 deaths. Nine of those people were patients inside the facility. One of them contracted it from the facility while visiting. One death in Snohomish County brings the total here in Washington State to 12. 79 cases have been reported. Allison Grandy continues our team coverage tonight live outside the Life Care Center of Kirkland. And Allison, you spoke to a woman who's still inside there. She is, Monique. And think about this. You're stuck inside here. You're watching your friends die and still wondering whether or not you have contracted coronavirus. That's what's happening here inside the Life Care Center. We did just see some federal doctors leave. You can see there's another aid car here right now. And still, not everyone has been tested. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm anxious. I'm scared. Carmen Gray is worried about her mom. Susan Haley is 76. She's at Life Care Center of Kirkland recovering from knee surgery. Then she fell and broke her ankle. Now she's coughing. I talked to her on the phone. All these people, you just don't know who's going to die next. Haley was taken to Evergreen Hospital on Wednesday night to be tested for coronavirus. These photos are in the ER. But instead of letting her stay, she was transported back to the nursing home. I did not want to come back here. I um, cried the other night when I let my mom down because my sister and I promised her that once we got her out of here that we would not be bringing her back here. And I let her down. We, she didn't meet the criteria because she did not have distress in her breathing. They're still waiting for her test results. Her daughter is checking on her through the window. Still, no patients have been tested for coronavirus at the nursing home, according to loved ones. Of the 69 patients at Life Care, 15 have been transported to hospitals in the last 24 hours, according to King County. Family members say the protocol has changed. Now patients are not being brought back to the nursing home. Haley just missed that chance. Susan, what do you want to have happen? What's the best thing that can happen for you? I want to go home. I want to go home. And I know that technically I'm not ready to go home because of my feet. But she's seen too many people die. And a very good friend of mine died Sunday. It's terrible. She was a lovely, lovely woman. Now, Susan Haley didn't just happen to get tested at Evergreen. Her daughter fought for it, and we've seen other family members doing the same thing. On Monday, I met Teddy Tyler. His mom had been cared for here at the care center, was taken up to Evergreen, and was dying in hospice. He still demanded she be tested. That test came back positive, and she died this morning. Live in Kirkland, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.